My poet is a call to action. It scares the government. And this poem was banned. At Miami, I am the conga drums. At Miami, I am the beats. From the conga drums, from the drums of Tabazimbi, I convey royal messages to the people. Listen to the rhythm, listen to the beats. From Congo River to the great ocean, I am like a telex of culture, flowing messages through the beatings of the drums. From frosty land to cold land, I am the beat from the drums of Tabazibi. of change in Africa, a deafening the years like the winds of change, a it from me. I revoked the spirit of the forefathers, the spirit that lambasted the foundations of plunder, the spirit that saved you from the jaws of death. They can beat me, but not the mind. Even under the reign of terror, the land is still mine. My land is immovable. At Miami, I am the bitch from the drums of change. When you grew up in the township, yes. you can understand what, what his poems are all about. And you know, Mzwake is somehow um, speaking out, saying out what sometimes we feel, but we can't really spit out. He practices no censorship in what he writes. When you read his poetry, it's not necessarily good literary poems, but it's people's poetry, which has taken English and made it African. He's a people's poet, he recites for a nation. So even comrades like to recite Mzake's poems because, I mean, they are giving the message to the people. I see little Mzake's all over the country. I am the conscious of the nation. I and the money do not mix. I and the truth do not collide. Inside me, the spirit of resistance never diminish. Inside me, the spirit of resistance never diminish. I am a qualified graduate from the University of Wisdom. I am a thinking tank, not from the jumble sale of wrong ideas. Who can understand my inner voice of reason? Who can understand my poetic, prophetic spirit given? The bull is dying at last. The bull is kicking at random at last. Kicking and discriminant without techniques. Yes, the bull sees his end at last. Yes. The bull sees its end at last. There's something that's very crucial to me as a person. What I've learned from my community, what I've learned around me, I have to plant back. That's why I work so much with young people. Young people have gone to jails, they've been beaten up, they've been breathing tear gas. They need to know another side too. So we are consciously working towards trying to laugh again. Till his release put us together. <laughs> okay, okay. Can I suggest something? What does everybody feel? Uzanayole he brings the ring almost. You know, it, it's too obvious again. I would like him to maybe, Heidi, give me your hand. 
You know, it's like you am teaser. Eh? I was good. Why do you want a hand? Try that. Hide it. Hide it. You can let and give me your hand. Give me your hand. No, the other one. I am the product of hunger. I am the product of social injustice. I represent the victims of tyranny. I represent the excited majority. I come from a market land. I resigned for a nation. I represent a nation. A peace-loving nation, a nation that never enjoyed freedom since conquest of my land is bloodstained. Nevertheless, no oppressive kingdom is eternal. Our heart and traumatic it is to write about the pain and not joy. Our heart and traumatic it is to write about slavery and not freedom. It's not love that we experience in South Africa. I haven't experienced love in South Africa. I'm not a product of love. In South Africa. So it means, therefore, I'm a product of something else. But I am not a sower of seed of hate or hatred. I'm like a soldier. That I am prepared, if I said I was not going to censor myself in terms of writing, prepared even for the consequences, like a soldier. A soldier is a person who carries a gun, is a person who, who fights for a particular cause or against a particular cause. And when you are dead, we say, like a soldier, he died. So it's not a shameful death. So dying in a political struggle against a hero is like apartheid, to me, it won't be shameful tomorrow. I'm not in the fence. I'm not like those who are general, anti-apartheid, doing nothing. At least I raised the finger. I said something, I did something, I've gone through something.
It's important for an artist to be good. I don't want people to lie to me and say I have energy and my singing. I'm not about singing and energy. I'm about raising points that are important. And if it's not good enough, it should be criticized and revised. I don't want to be forgiven on the fact that I'm a black South African who's suffering. Mama, they tell me you were a dancer. They tell me you had long, beautiful legs to carry your graceful body. They tell me you were a dancer. Mama, they tell me you were always so gentle. They talk of a willow tree swaying lovingly over clear running water in early spring. When they talk of you, they tell me you were a slow dancer. Mama, they tell me you were a wedding dancer. They tell me you smiled and lifted your face up to the sky with your arms curving outward just a little and your feet shuffling in the sand. Oh, hey, how I wish I was there to see you. They tell me what a pleasure to watch. Mama, they tell me I'm a dancer too, but I don't know. I don't know for sure what a wedding dancer is. There are no more weddings, but many, many funerals where we sing and dance, running fast with the coffin of a would-be bride or a would-be groom. Strange smiles have replaced our tears. Our eyes are full of vengeance, Mama. Dear, dear Mama, they tell me I am a funeral dancer. My family's township in Natal has been going through a very hard time in the past two and a half years. And it's been all kinds of fights between Ingata and the United Democratic Front. Boys especially have been forced to choose a side. My sisters are married there. They have teenage boys who are facing the same problem. As a result, they have to leave. And my father, in the end, is going to be left alone. And I read papers, I listen to the news. Hundreds of people have been killed. And some of them are people that I know. Some of them are people of my father's age. Our family is so closely knit and our family is very, very warm family that helps each other. If something goes wrong with me, everybody worries. And if something happens to one of the sisters, everybody cares. No, 